Hey, what's up? Welcome to today's video. I forgot to film my intro when I normally do it, which is like right after I finish putting on all of my makeup. So I'm actually at the end of the day right now because I just realized that I didn't do an intro for this video. What we're doing today, I just have some... I just have some Patrick Ta, very reflective stuff today. Some Patrick Ta products. I've got his new like double cream slash, if I can get, this thing is like kind of hard to open. I don't know why. His like new cream slash powder blush, a lipstick, a lip liner. So we're going to be putting all of this to the test today. I. I'm doing a wear test on the foundation that I'm wearing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a wear test on these products. Now, just because you're seeing my face still with makeup on it, doesn't mean necessarily that they wore so well. You gotta watch all the way through to know what happened, particularly with this situation. So yeah, just keep on watching. Sorry that this intro is a little weird. It's the end of the day and I'm tired and I, 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 I don't really remember everything that I said this morning, so. Hopefully I'm not repeating myself too much. <laughs> All right, uh, like and subscribe. Thanks, let's get started. <laughs> All right, folks, so we're gonna start here with, with the Patrick Ta Major Headlines Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. Here's the box. Okay, so it has a little something about it on the back. It says, day or night, this dual formula compact allows you to create looks for both and everything in between. A luminous sheer cream on one side and a buttery soft powder on the other. Wear them alone or layer for maximum impact. So I like cream blushes. My trouble that I've had with like cream blush and cream bronzer is that I hate having foundation sitting on my face that's not set. <laughs> so I have foundation on right now, but I haven't set it with powder. I'm gonna go in with the with the cream side of it first, set with powder, and then we'll see what it looks like. I'm, I'm planning on layering the powder one over, but I don't know how pigmented these are gonna be. So let's just check it out. Okay, so here's the little thing. Ooh, very reflective, very shiny, kind of a nifty little deal. I'm not, uh, how does it open? I don't know how it, oh, there we go. Ooh, okay. Cute, cute, cute. So I got She's That Girl is the, I guess, shade you could say that I got. I wasn't super happy with like the shade selections that they have. This is just like the pink one. They had like a kind of warm toned, like orangey looking one. They had one that was a little bit cooler tone, which is normally what I would gravitate to, but it was a very deep shade. So I thought it would probably be a little too dark for me maybe. And then the other one was like red. I don't quite remember, but I wasn't like oh, crazy about the like what I had to choose from. This was like the best option that I had. So this is cool. It's got like a little thingamadoo to kind of cover your cream blush. It's very cute. I love the packaging. It's so shiny and like got a little mirror and everything. So I'm gonna swatch it just to get an idea of it. Okay, that ought to work, yeah. I'm going to start with my little sponge and see what I think about it with the sponge. I got plenty of brushes on standby. If I don't like it with my sponge, let's just see what happens. Oh boy. Oh wow, that is shiny. That is a luminous little blush moment, isn't it? I think it looks pretty cute though. Ooh, shit. <laughs> so the, the little flap was down and I took my sponge <laughs> and just went right on top of that thing. So it's like smudgy and gross now, love that. So there's one side with just like a little bit I think I'm trying to decide if I want to build it up any further than that or just like leave it because yeah, I guess I'll just leave it like that. Normally if I'm just using a cream blush, I would build it up a little more because sometimes the powder sort of dilutes the color. But since this has the, the powder on the other side, I'll see how the powder works out. Ooh, that is shiny. So it's pretty pigmented, you don't need a lot, but it blended out really nicely, I think, and I think it looks good. It's 
cute. Looks very cute little pinky color. Let me get powdered and we'll come back and check out the, the powder side. I'm back with pretty much everything else done. As you can see, the cream blush underneath my powder definitely maintained that little bit of a shine to it. And you can still see it um, under my translucent powder. Sometimes like my Fenty cream blush and bronzer can get a little bit washed out when I go over it with powder. This one really didn't get washed out much at all. I think it looks really nice. It's a very, you know, it's, it's why people like cream blushes is because it gives you a very skin-like finish. But for the sake of trying out the product today, I am going to go ahead and go into the powder brush a little bit. I really like the, um, whatever you call that, the etching, embossing, whatever, the little little logo on the powder, but let's check it out. Not much is like coming out of the pan. There we go. Now, this is going to be a problem if this is too pigmented because to go over the cream blush that I already have laid down, I'm kind of like, do I really need to, you know? Just gonna be looking very blushy today. No big. Okay, it's not striking me as overly pigmented. I didn't put any cream blush on my nose, so my nose is really like the only spot that I can get a good feel for what the blush looks like. I'll have to try it out again without the cream under it, but it looks good, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. And then finally, I have the Patrick Ta Lip Liner. And so this is called the Major Headlines Precision Lip Crayon in the shade That's Why She's Late. And then the Patrick Ta Major Headlines Matte Suede Lipstick, also in That's Why She's Late. This is just a very classic red. That's why I went pretty simple with my eyes. Uh, so let's start with the lip liner. I don't know how this is supposed to work. Oh, oh, okay. So it's like a little push up thing. Like you, I don't know how I feel about that. That's a little odd for me. All right, let's uh, slime my lips, I guess. Okay, so number one, because this is like a push, push up thingy, I still have a little bit of it left up and I can't like twist it back down. So I'm not crazy about that. It's not the smoothest, like creamiest lip liner. Like it was easy enough to apply. I definitely had to go ahead and like warm it up on the back of my hand. Cause when I first started, it kind of wanted to skip a little bit, but it's definitely very, oh shoot. And see, see, okay. I just put the, oh man. And I've already got it. <laughs> so I went to put the cap back on and I went like this, put the cap on and I accidentally clicked it as I pushed that back up. So that's a little bit problematic. I don't like that. I, th I like make it a twisty thing at least, or like a sharpened one. This, I don't like the push up thing. That's not, I'm not crazy about that. Okay, but let's check out the lipstick now in the same shade. That's why she's late. It's a good, good shade name. It's usually because I'm doing my makeup before I'm late. <laughs> Very pretty component. Goes with the major headlines theme. It's super duper reflective. I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand first. Oh, that's very smooth. Okay, let's do it. Woohoo! That is a red lip, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Feeling very old Hollywood now. 
I don't think it's supposed to be like ultra long lasting. So we'll see how it goes. I'll just add a little check in. Say hi, Archer. Archer. <laughs> hey guys. So here's what's happening. Mm, okay, so I'm eating some tacos right now. And I actually realized this after I cleaned my hand off from earlier. This lip liner is pretty, um, it's got some stay power, as you can see. The lip liner does. When I took my makeup wipe to my hand, the lipstick came off immediately, but the lip liner, I had to like sit there and like rub and rub and rub and rub. It like took me a, like a moment. So it's got some stay power. <laughs> But the lipstick doesn't. So this is what what I'm dealing with now. Perhaps I was supposed to like fully fill in my lips, but then I don't know, that kind of makes it seem like, kind of makes it feel like the lipstick is like obsolete at that point. If I just put the lip liner, you know what I mean? So anyways, the hi Archer, the hi Miller. Miller, he's Miller, the hi guys later Alrighty. well let me know what you guys think about these patrick ta products i'd say that i i like these products i don't think they've changed my life <laughs> necessarily but i think that they're good products i really like the blush particularly the the cream blush i thought was really really nice it applied so easily the powder blush it's not overly pigmented, so you can work it up a little bit. And then the lip liner, I'm not crazy about, mostly because of the design with the little push-up thing. But as far as like the color, great color, pigmentation was good. It's not the creamiest lip liner in the world. It is a little bit more matte, but I think that it applied easy enough and I didn't have too much trouble with it. And then the lipstick, it applied very easily, very smooth. Um, obviously complements the lip liner well. So, fun stuff. So let me know what you guys think about these products and what Patrick Ta products do I need to try next, if any. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I would super appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!